craziest shit you you were how long were you there in afghanistan um only five days but i was the last ever tourist in afghanistan before the country fell so i went on there in a tourism visa i arrived started posting on 4chan about it my first time on 4chan by the way so that's quite an introduction and i started just posting you know all oh, the country's under siege blah 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 i was just documenting the entire thing no one else was on the ground no news channels and everything so i was everyone's source of news and it was very bizarre but i weirdly liked it it was actually the most enjoyable time of my life why i, it was, I don't know it was weirdly calming i enjoyed the adrenaline of running I enjoyed the actual nature of the place. Like, it was a beautiful country. I got questioned by the Taliban for a good minute at one point, and, you know, they were kind of cornering me. And I just talked my way out of it. And it was so satisfying to get away with just walking away from them. They, they cornered me after the takeover, right? And then they asked me, oh, are you British? Giving me this evil look. And I go, oh, no, 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 I'm Welsh. And they don't, they don't know where Wales is. So they go you're Welsh? Yeah, what's this? And I go, oh, it's a country next to England. We're occupied by England. And I go, one struggle, brother. We're, we've been invaded by England, like you. And they, they look at me and just start smiling, pat me on the back and send me on the way and take me to enjoy my stay. So I talked my way out of some trouble with the Taliban. All because they didn't know basic geography. Yeah, I decided to just shit post in real life and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's what I do now. I take serious situations, make it human. You know, because you can't relate to war reporters. You see this in Ukraine too. Most of them just lie. There's a lot of manipulation on both sides. I just go there as a normal person and say how it is. And that's what I do, basically. Okay, so backtrack to the Taliban. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like they're just like a, like a bunch of thugs like that are just stupid and not real? Like, because America, back in the early 2000s, we all had this idea of what the Taliban was oh, and yeah. it's obviously 20 years later so what is the Taliban today what does that look like who are they yeah so today they're actually a lot better than they were in the 90s in the 90s they were smashing up TVs and saying if you watch Oprah you're a Satanist equivalent in Islam but right now they're on TikTok just um, making memes of um, the Americans and stuff shit posting constantly I actually ran into the Taliban about two months ago once again in Afghanistan because they're everywhere and they were just like, oh, you're Catholic, that's chill, mate. Uh, Want to grab some food? And he just gave me food. It was great. Like, if I go to an atheist and say I'm Saying Catholic... Saying the Taliban's on a threat? They're helpful? They were helpful to me. They were very kind. I judged someone individually, you know, from experience. Good people, would you say? Depends on the individual. You get some Taliban, and even the Taliban agree with this. You get some Taliban that are just psychopaths who just want to murder people, like the Mexican cartels and even some U.S. soldiers from time to time. But some of them are very good people who will just reach out and be cool. I, if I go on my Twitter DMs right now, I can see one Taliban member just meshing me, hey, with five Ys and a kiss emoji. They just vibe. It's funny. That's fucking wild. Yeah. If you dig into the Taliban kind of TikTok, Twitter posts, you see this different world where they act like 15-year-old boys just, just discovering the internet. It's really entertaining. This is news.